Hey guys, Transformers Kid 2 back with another video review, this time of War for Cybertron Deluxe Rage over Cybertron Toys R Us exclusive Optimus Prime. Um, so this is a repaint of the original. Uh, this one actually is really cool because he's got this translucent plastic for chest and arm plates. It's like this glittery kind of cool looking thing. It's really neat. Uh, and also the hood of the vehicle, but we will get to that. Um, so, as I mentioned, he is a Toys R Us exclusive and a Deluxe, and he is Optimus Prime. Comes with this gun, which has a gimmick, where it folds, and then if you hit this thing, it flips out, which is pretty cool. So, he can hold the gun in his hands. But it's kind of difficult. I don't even think it's actually supposed to go in his hands, quite honestly. But I have gotten it in his hands once. But there's also holes on each arm. So you can plug it onto his arm. Which looks pretty cool. Uh, let's do a size comparison with uh, Megatron. Because, you know... Optimus and Megatron, they're supposed to be together. Megatron's a bit bigger and a lot bulkier, but Prime's just a better toy overall, in my opinion. Uh, and another comparison with classic Starscream. <laughs> classic Starscream is... Oof. Um, about the same size. Annoying. Let me fix this real quick. Alright, so we already went over gimmicks. Let's go over articulation, head up, back out, bend at the elbow, swivel, no wrist, uh, no waist, up, back out, bend at the knee, and rotate at the thigh. Uh, so quick 360 and let's get into transformation because he has an awful complex transformation in my opinion. I did this without instructions and let me tell you that was not a fun experience because I just could not get anything to go where I wanted it to. So the easiest part in my opinion is to, oh my god this tape sucks, is to fold in the hands. Okay. That's the easiest part. Uh, next, what we'll do is we'll just get this part out of the way. We'll just fold the wheels around. And flip these back. And these pipes, you actually want to rotate them. And we'll fold up the toe. And peg the legs together. That's all we're going to do with the legs for now. Now, you want to take the abdomen and detach it from here. To pull it up. And rotate his chest around. Something I've never seen on a Transformer before. And then you want to fold out his thigh. Or his hip piece armor things. Come to the back here. Fold this down. You're going to want to kind of get these out of the way, so just fold these down there, attach the arms. And then take this, lift up his arms, take the hood, take the waist, and bend it, and then rotate the hood piece around. So then, um, we'll rotate the waist back supposed to be this way because the legs are going to fold up and then you want to scrunch the legs up. so now they're scrunched and they actually clip in there's clips here that clip into the insides here which are kind of difficult to do I feel like I'm going to break it and I probably will too uh, so that's pretty much all you do with the legs and then fold out his knees, his kneecaps here, they fold out to fill in this space here, which is nice. 
All right. Oh shit, you weren't supposed to rotate the wheels. It's supposed to be like this. Wheels go on the bottom. And then come back here to his head and fold it down. And then take his arms and rotate it so that these pieces are starting to come forward. And then his arm has this triangle part that lines up with this piece up here. So you want to do that. Do the same over here. Rotate the arm, bend the elbow, and clip that in. And keep it up for now. Then you want to take these pieces and fold them forward. And here's where everything kind of gets tricky. It's getting everything together. So first, obviously, these will peg in here. That I could have figured out on my own, and I did. Make sure the arms are folded in all the way. Then you want to take the arms and bend them down so that they line up, and they peg in in here. Not very securely, but loosely. And then do the same here. Okay. And then the arms are there. And then get everything level-ish. And then you want to take these panels here and you want to kind of fold the... You want to fold the smokestack... Actually... You want to get this panel out of the way. You want to fold the smokestack back and fold this in, and it's got a big peg on the inside, and then it's got this hook here. And not everything always fits together the way I want it to. And then fold the smokestack back. Try that again. Pinch the arm in this piece together, and then that clip there, and fold these in, and they will click. And this piece will just cover everything, pretty much. And there is Prime in vehicle mode. Now you take his gun, and you fold it up, and you plug it right on his butt. That's actually his butt. And there is War for Cybertron Prime in his vehicle mode. Now let me tell you, this vehicle mode is sick. Um, it is really cool, and the front half is all translucent plastic, except for, like, the bumper, um, which is part of the exclusive uh, set. That's something you can't... The original does not have. The original is solid. Now, in some ways, I'd rather have the original, but, you know, I was at Toys R Us, and I saw this, and I was just like, eh, I could do a review. So here he is next to... Starscream. Uh, so, it's a decent size. It's a little small. Very compact. Uh, I'm not going to transform Megatron because I don't have time. Uh, so, he rolls, which is good. Very, it's really cool, actually. It's really cool. I really dig this vehicle mode. And then you can always do the bam so you can shoot people in the back. So very cool. I like this kind of circuitry design. Really cool. So I'm just going to transform him back real quick. I'm not really going to discuss it. Because I really couldn't. I don't know what I'm doing, quite honestly.
smoke stack stem leg and there's one leg I t this this is the most complicated, in my opinion, out of the entire set is is Optimus. It's not my favorite. I don't actually have a favorite because they each have really Optimus' robot mode is actually kind of lame in some aspects. It's very chunky and but the transformation makes up for most of it. Actually does have waist movement. I lied. Very limited though. And there is Prime back in robot mode. Uh, so overall, I do in fact recommend this figure. I think it's a great figure. Uh, so let's get a group shot here. And that's the review for the War for Cybertron, Rage Over Cybertron, Toys R Us exclusive Optimus Deluxe Prime. Uh, so click on the review you want to see next.